What's that? What's that look like? It looks like a junk ring to me. But it's a ring. Because I'm on a ring roll. Here's an old but not too old button. Keep going. Alright, I got a round disc. I don't know what it is. What is that? Don't tell me it's a washer. It's gonna be a washer, isn't it? Ah, oh, you suck. Square hole washer. Man, it sounded good too. Oh well, I'll keep going. There's some goodies in this yard. <clears throat> tell you, I like round objects. Even if it's aluminum play money. It's an old school 10 center. That's cool. I will take it. Where's that a five cent? That's five cent. Yep. It's a nickel ring and it's a high tone. Still working this backyard. It's pretty big. Been picking up a lot of uh, uh, copper fittings and whatnot. And I am the sheriff again for the day. Junior sheriff. That's cool. Wish it wasn't so broken up. But it is what it is. I'll take it. So working this little, I guess this is a, uh, a runoff shelf or whatever you call it. And right up on this hip, I've got this screamer of a signal. I had to chase it a little bit, making a mess, but check this out. What is it? What is it? Orthrum loom, loom tag? Ah, uh, that sucks. Ah, uh, that sucks bad. Get it out. It's burning, burning. Get it. Uh, I got it. Oh, man. Mosquitoes are bad out here. It's another loom tag. Of course, it's got to be related with the mill over here. There's a, it's a, a cotton mill sort of deal in the early eight, or late 1800s, early 1900s, and they had cotton looms. So I'm guessing this is a cotton loom tag. That is cool, man. That right there made my day. Well, I got something I have no clue. That's how it came out of the ground. Let's see what it is. It's big. It's huge. Are you kidding me? I think I know what this is. Let me get some water on it. All right, I, I, I know what it is now. It's a UK penny, Great Britain penny. I think it says it's 1921. Yep, 1921. That's a first. That's cool. All right, so I'm working a, uh, it's a public lot. It used to be a uh, old swimming pool. And uh, they filled it in and turned it into a parking lot. And I got silver number 50 for the year. Oh, that is cool, man. And it is going to be a rosy. Heck yeah. Silver 50. I was going to shoot for 100 years here, but they are hard to come by lately, especially when the ground is dry as it is. But silver 50. Awesome. And I got the steep quarter signal and I got a sharp shooter metal. That is awesome. Heck yeah. And it says sterling on it, so it's it's an old one. Might be from World War II era. That is awesome.
high spike in the iron signal all the way up to 99. I just wanted to see what it was. And it looks like I got an old school 80s wrist watch uh, calculator. I hadn't seen one of these in decades. Wow. What in the world did I just find? Right next to that watch, I get this crazy high pitched screamer. I was like, what kind of trash is that? I just stuck my spade down there and look at that. What in the world? There's two giant belt buckles. Yeah, Georgia Bulldog belt buckle. And what's this one? Police pig. What? <laughs> this is American police pig law and order. Oh my goodness. Let's see if there's more in here. What is going on? What is this? It's a mixtape. I, th I think I found some buried uh, kids, 1990s or 80s, nostalgic uh, bury site with that Casio wristwatch. There's two belt buckles, a cassette tape that I can't make out on. What is else? What else is in here? What? Another bell buckle. Oh my goodness. This is crazy, guys. What is this? <laughs> it's a cap gun. No, it's a bell buckle. Wow. That thing's monstrous. I hit it with my spade because I got this nasty signal. What else is in here? Some glass. Oh, this is crazy. I'll get back to you. I'm going to dig around here for a minute. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right next to it. The CSA belt buckle. I scored. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is nuts. What else is in here? So I'm getting more signals all around it. Right here. I don't want to hit any more buckles ground is loose but there's signals all in here it's just one giant screamer why in the world is somebody bury all these belt buckles this is nuts look there's another one wow there's a cobra look at that that's crazy there's got to be more in here Oh look, there's one right there. Fire department. What in the world's going on here? This is nuts, guys. Look, another one. Oh well. I don't know. What is that? It's a soldier. Something on there. I don't know, I'll clean these up later. This is crazy. What is that? Look. There's another one. Right there. Look. <laughs> A giant nail. I feel another one. Yeah, right there. Another one. Use something R. It's 
Some of these are pretty old and some are new. Why in the world would somebody bury a belt buckle collection? I'm gonna keep going. This is <laughs> crazy. Look what I just dug out of the ground and it's got weight. Oh my goodness, let me get up in the shade. Oh my goodness. Please let there be something good in here. Oh, it's gonna be a clock. Oh wow. Ugh. Full of water. That's why it's so heavy. Oh. That's still cool though. Wow. Man, some kid buried a whole bunch in this bunch of uh keepsakes of memory sakes. I'm still working this spot. It's a four foot by four foot area. Another belt buckle. George Bulldogs. Wow, this is nuts. <laughs> I keep saying that. It is. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. What in the world? Oh, my camera's overheating. I'm poor sweat and overheating. This place is loaded with signals. What? <laughs> yeah. That was buried with all this stuff too. I'm back in the truck. I was overheating. My phone was overheating. Wouldn't want to film. Wouldn't want to focus. This is just a giant, big, nasty signal. I walked over in the past, except I caught one of these belt buckles off the side and it was a single signal. So I dug it and two popped out. And I'm like, okay, so what are the rest of them? And they just kept on coming. Unbelievable. I'm going to cool off and go back out there. I'm sure there's more. I had to cool off, and I'm back at it. There's an axe head. I don't know if that's part of the, the cache or what, but that's cool. Guys, hey guys, I did it. I got my half. Beginning of the year, I said my goal was a half, and I got it. Unreal. I cannot believe what I'm pulling out of this ground over here. She is ugly. He is ugly. But it looks like somebody was going to make a ring out of it. Yep. 1960. Franklin half. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, buddy. Alright, guys. Welcome to the wrap-up table. I ended up uh, filming at three different locations. The first location was the 1899 uh, Mill Home. And um, let's see, I found this loom tag, which is really neat. It's uh, off of one of the original looms they had. And while it was in the backyard, I have no clue in how it got there. But I know the uh, mill manager will definitely want to know the loom number on it. And he's uh, documented other finds we found. So I'll end up giving him that information. And also found uh, this Great Britain Pennies, 1921. That's the first. Never found one like this. I got one in my collection, believe it or not. It's kind of funny. But definitely not with a green patina on it. Uh, the second location was... Um, uh, it used to be a public pool, and I think somebody unfortunately drowned 20 or 30 years ago there, and they just filled it in and turned it into a public parking lot. And I got silver number 50. It's just a Roosevelt dime, but it represents 50 for this year. Silver coin 50, that's cool. And uh, got this uh, sharpshooter metal. It's uh, silver, it's 10 grams of silver, and it should have a... Uh, bar that goes underneath and it says rifle and i double check and actually went back and looked in the hole and around it and i couldn't find it so it is what it is it's still real neat and uh it'll go good with my captain's pin button that i found the third location was an empty lot and i've talked to the neighbors and they say it's been an old home there and an eyesore for a long time and unbelievable i cannot believe that big trashy signal turned out to be all these belt buckles. Like I said uh, previously, you just never know what you're going to find. And that's the truth about metal detecting. It's so fun. Um, let's see. 
We got this uh, CSA replica belt buckle. And um, I said in the video, this was a cobra, but it's actually a diamondback snake. That's really neat. I don't know why anybody would wear one of these things. They're huge. All these are stamped uh, and made in 77, 78, and 79. So I'll give you a date and how old these are. Except for this one. This one is, um, let me think of the name, Knights of Pythias. I think that's what you call them. It's a, organ, it's a group that's been around from the 1860s. And this is an older belt buckle. There's no markings or anything on it, but I looked it up and seen these on, on the internet, and that's what it is. And novelty. It's a volunteer firefighter, uh, just in Georgia Bulldog belt buckles. <laughs> Biggest mystery when I was out there digging. If you notice in the video, the ground is loose, and it was full of, of um, gravel, and... I could not figure out why these buckles are out there. I was thinking a kid buried them for memory's sakes or whatnot. And typically, if that was the case, it wouldn't have been spread out in a four-foot area. And they would have been in a box. And maybe the bull, uh, they, when they bulldozed that place, they pushed them over. I don't know. I really have no answer until I got home and did research. And I pulled up all Google Maps and Street View and... Exactly where I found all these belt buckles was a tool shed. There was a tool shed right there. So, I was thinking, well, would a kid steal these and bury them up underneath the tool shed? I mean, still a lot of unanswered questions. This buckle right here actually has a name on it. And I did the tax record research and found out... The man's name used to live on that property. So maybe I'm going to do a little bit more research. I got a number for the man's name. And of course, it's a dead-end landline number. So if I could get a contact to him and find out um, anything about this, why they were out there, that maybe I could do a part two of this video. I don't know. But the highlight of it all... I got my silver half. That was my goal for the year. And this one has got some character. Because somebody was trying to make it into a ring. And I guess they dropped in the process. That is awesome. And this was not um, with all, all the stuff that I found. It was four feet away, four or five feet away from all the belt buckles. So it was dropped separately. And it would explain why they were, they had um, a tool shed there because I found that anchor, that axe head. I found a lot of odds and ends, tinker toys and whatnot. So I imagine when they tore down that tool shed, maybe all that stuff got mixed in the ground. I don't know. Have no clue. But thanks for looking. Good luck. Happy hunting. And remember, you got to get out there and dig in the ground because you never know what you're going to find. For example, a belt buckle collection.